This video is about the emerging role of clinical pharmacist. Clinical pharmacists, they review patients' medications and identify areas where improvements can be made. They evaluate the effectiveness of medications being taken by the patient. They monitor adverse reactions to medications and report them. Clinical pharmacists provide counseling to patients based on their medications. Clinical pharmacists review records of patients to determine the appropriateness of medication therapy. They evaluate patients' condition to ensure all issues are being treated. They educate patients about their medications and teach them how to use them properly. Clinical pharmacists review patients' blood results to make sure medications are appropriate for their current condition. Now, the next question is, where are clinical pharmacy services provided? Clinical pharmacy services are provided to patients in primary care setting when patient is not acutely well. For example, in general practice setting in hospital outpatient departments where there is access to patient notes and complete medical information so that the decisions can be made about their medication therapy. Pharmacists also run their specialist medicine reviews clinics, for example, diabetes specialist, pharmacist, hypertension specialist, pharmacist, pharmacists to run lipid clinics, pharmacists to run anticoagulant clinics, and this is all done in a setting where patient is not acutely unwell and the patient's medications can be monitored in a timely fashion. Clinical pharmacy services are provided to patients in secondary care setting when patient is acutely unwell. These services are provided in hospital inpatient wards and in accident emergency, urgent care, and a lot of other places in the hospital. The specialist pharmacist and the generalist pharmacist work on different wards and provide the services and pharmacists make sure that the medications prescribed in their acutely unwell state are appropriate for their current condition and to review them on a daily basis. Thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for the next videos coming up on clinical pharmacy.